Hi, I'm Kyla Epstein from Sumerick & Associates. Welcome to my YouTube series, Working Moms, where I not only feature women who are kicking butt in the work world, but are also at home raising little cutie patooties as well. My first guest on the series is Nicole Birch, a friend since sixth grade who I have known, Kuching Heights, ODCVI, and through college and university, who is now owned Studio 11 for the past five years. Thank you for joining me, Nicole, today. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, do you think you could tell the viewers a bit about how you got to own Studio 11? Absolutely. So um, I've been at Studio 11 for about five years now. Um, I started my journey in the fashion retailing world in Toronto. Um, I was in the buying industry for about 10 years before I made the move back home to Aurelia and started this awesome venture. So I'm so happy to be here and part of the community for the last five years. And you have Lily, who's a 10 month old. I do, yes. And can you maybe tell us a bit just about balancing work? and home life? I'm still learning. <laughs> it's it's so <laughs> hard. Yeah, it's so hard. So um, I think the main thing for my family that has been working is scheduling. So we schedule our work days, we schedule our daycare days, schedule our home days, our self-care days. So scheduling is like a huge part of our family dynamic and it has been working. So oh. that's, that's our secret. <laughs> I love that. And how would you say you deal with the pressure of being at work on time and having to deal with daycare days or not being with Lily all the time? The, uh, it's so hard, it's so hard. So I really, when I'm at home, I really try and give my 100% to be at home. Put my phone away, really pay attention and be present. Um, and then when I give my 100% at home, I feel like I can give my 100% at work. Like we talked about, it's all about that balance. And yeah, it is still like a learning curve and a learn, like, learning process for sure but yeah I try and put my phone away try and be a hundred percent present would you say that you deal with mom guilt and if so how do you deal with it mom guilt is real I deal with it all the time <laughs> it's right so now. hard it's so hard um, yeah so with like the putting away my phone and trying to be a hundred percent present when I'm home that mom guilt does kind of go away because I know that she is getting all of my attention when I'm with her um, and then when I'm at work I don't feel too guilty because I have tried really hard to be present at home but um, I still have to be here and this is one of my babies so um, I just keep telling myself that I can do both. That's a great way to put it. You mm -hmm. basically have two, two, two babies, babies. <laughs> and I mean, I know when I went back to work, like the sense of feeling like yourself again, yeah. I felt like I kind of lost that at the beginning. Yeah, 100%. So it's really nice to have that like separation and when you come here, you're that working yeah. boss and Absolutely. at home, you're that working mom. So yeah, for that's sure. great. So why did you come back to Aurelia and choose to raise your family here? Well. Uh, like you said, <laughs> I grew up here, my husband as well, so we always called it really a home. Both our families still lived here, so when we went to college and university elsewhere, um, we always ended up back in Aurelia. We were both lucky enough to work in town, so we just felt that Aurelia was such a natural fit for us. Um, and yeah, we just loved the small town vibe, loved the amazing and supportive community, and it just really felt like such a natural fit. And what do you think about the downtown community now from when you bought Studio 11 to 2022? Yeah, so it has grown so much. Like it is amazing all the shops we have, all the new shops, all the new restaurants. It's just thriving and I think it's only going to go up from here. Like it's, uh, with COVID, I found that so many new people have come to town um, and it's amazing. It's just, it's flourishing, it's, it's lovely. What would you say your biggest highlight has been since owning Studio 11? Um, I think just really getting myself back into the community and feeling like a resident of Aurelia again. Um, I always loved it growing up, so it was nice to be back into the community. Uh, when I was in high school, I worked downtown, just down the street at Jack and Maddie's, so it was uh, really fun to just come back. That's great. What advice would you give to other working moms? Um, I think the biggest advice they would give is to take people up on their offers for helping. Um, either helping watch your baby or um, helping with dinners, like things like that. If you need a day to yourself, 
um, taking people up on their offer if you have that if you have that support there and asking yeah exactly don't yeah like, don't be afraid to ask if you need it yeah and that is a huge thing like you just also feel that guilt if you're asking for help but um, it's natural and normal and you need it yes. so yeah it takes a village I love that so now I've asked Nicole if she could help me style my eight month pregnancy body <laughs> with a few pieces from her store. So let's go take a look. Yeah. So here are some pieces that I think are great for maternity and can be worn after. Really nice oversized jackets, so you can wear them open, closed, and then it's really nice after you're pregnant to be worn as an oversized jacket. So this one I would highly recommend. Another I'm not a one. regular mom, I'm a cool mom. Yeah. <laughs> Another one I love to recommend um, for maternity and after pregnancy is these bamboo tanks. So they're all one size, super stretchy, they're all cotton, they're great for nursing as well and they're just super comfortable where you don't need to wear a bra and they're just awesome. So these I would totally recommend as well. Grab a couple of those. Um, another one that would be good if you are pregnant during the summer um, is like lightweight linen blouses. So this is a cotton linen from Free People, button up again so you can wear it open, wear it closed, nice and long too because I find when um, you're pregnant, I mean I wore a ton of leggings and so it's nice that your bum is covered and super comfortable and oversized. Great. All right, let's try on the jacket. Yeah. I love this. I love how it covers my bum. It's but so it also cute. shows the belly. Yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> and and it's something you would totally wear over and over again. You can wear it now, like in the winter, layer it up and wear it in the spring. It's awesome. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And we also have a beautiful green one too, if you I want know. to switch up colors. I did love <laughs> what you were wearing. Twins. <laughs> Take one of these. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole, so much for joining yeah, me. Yeah, thanks for, for the having me. First episode of Working Moms. Make sure you come say hi to Nicole at her shop, Studio 11, 89 Mississauga Street East. And please join us for more Working Moms content coming soon.